Welcome. Um, just a couple brief remarks. Uh, really, one thing, and that is, uh, regrettably, another week has gone by where we have not uh, uh, resolved supplemental state aid. Uh, Democrats, uh, from my perspective, from our perspective, I uh, just continues to continue to play politics, and I think that's very regrettable. Uh, when we went through in January and figured out what we thought the taxpayers of Iowa could afford, and uh, made it clear at the time that this was. This was 1.25%, which represents $50 million, um, is a significant amount of money, uh, especially when you put that next to the Ed reform, that's an additional $50 million, so we're committing $0.55 cents or out of every dollar or $100 million to K-12 education. We're going to have to make some very difficult decisions to be able to uh, afford that, uh, but we think it's the right thing to do. And, you know, like I said, we've been very clear from the beginning. There's been no hiding the ball. There's been no you know, political campaign pieces like they've sent out. Uh, it's just very frustrating. So I, will, I will tell you that if his idea of helping out schools and helping out kids across the state is returning to the budgeting practices of Chet Culver, uh, then we clearly have a difference of opinion. Uh, I mean, we're, we're not returning to the days where we overpromise and then underdeliver set ourselves up for across the board cuts. Those things were devastating. It, it, this has been very clear. I mean, 1.25% 1, 1 doesn't sound like a lot of money, but nearly $100 million of the $180 million that's available to us to spend is being proposed and dedicated to K-12 education. That's a big number, and it's a number that we know we can get past, we know that we, we, we can uh, afford, and so we ought to do that. Uh, the reason we continue to bring it up is because this is a priority uh, for House Republicans. I'm sure it is for Senate Republicans. Um, we need to get this done. If the Democrats continue to play politics with this, it's going to go to zero, or it's, you know, schools get the same amount of resources that they got last year. So it is just the Democrats playing politics, playing and simple. Uh, unquestionably, it appears to me that there's not a dollar the state has that the Senate Democrats aren't willing to spend. However, that's exactly how we ended up in a position where we stayed, looked at multiple years of across-the-board cuts, culminating in the 10% across-the-board cut in 2010, where they made a whole bunch of promises and then had to, and then couldn't follow through on them, and in fact had to back up from them. Um, you know, using one-time dollars, which is what the ending balance is for ongoing expenses, sets us up to have to do, uh, let's say, indiscriminate across-the-board cuts and puts us in a position where we can't follow through on our promises. Um, and to the extent that they want to be critical or, or uh, of the Republican position on this, I mean, we've been very clear for four years, we're going to balance ongoing revenue with ongoing expenses. I mean, if, is that a surprise to anybody in this room? No. Is it a surprise? Why, and why they would think that something all of a sudden has changed yeah. It's 1.25, which is $50 million. Right. You add that with the $50 million from the education reform, that's 55 cents out of every dollar, 100, $100 million out of the 180 that are available. Right. I can tell you that uh, the Senate Democrats clearly have bounced all over on where they are on their numbers. Uh, we need to quit playing a game um, and, and get this on the governor's desk. We worked through the budget, we worked through the money, the state's finances, and in fact, even after we made that commitment, the Revenue Estimating Conference lowered their number, um, and we went through it all again. Uh, we think it's, it, that obviously makes it more difficult, but it's, it's going to be difficult to uh, figure out how to get through the budgets and have that $100 million available for K-12 education, but we're committed to doing that. And we're not, in the Senate Democrats' history of over-promising and under-delivering, we're not going to.